I'm going to be talking about a superconductivity simulation, um, but with a slight sort of uh, a jokey title of not simulating superconductivity with Simulia Opera. Now, we can simulate superconductivity, but that tends not to be the most interesting thing, and I hope you'll understand that at the end of this talk. So this talk is aimed at the level of a, a non-expert to introduce you to some of the ideas involved. Um, so yeah, I apologize for not going into extreme detail. Uh, but I hope uh, you find the talk enjoyable. So this is a, a, a cut through of a magnet that was built at Rutherford Appleton Laboratory in the 1970s called the PT55 uh, superconducting magnet, which was a, a detector magnet um, for a, a particle accelerator experiment there. Um, and we'll return to this magnet a few times during the talk, particularly at these overview slides. So just to give you a quick overview of the talk, I'll give you a brief introduction. I'll talk about what superconductivity is, uh, not as I said, not in great depth. We'll look at a few applications of super, superconductivity, and then we'll go into a bit more depth looking at modeling superconductivity, and then uh, a very brief summary. So uh, yeah, this, this PC55 magnet, um, it had been simulated with OPERA. It, this is at the beginning of a, a simulation. So the coils are all at a uniform temperature, 4.2 uh, Kelvin. So that's 4.2 degrees above absolute zero. Um, and they're all conducting uh, electricity pretty much without resistance uh, perfectly. So why will that be interesting? Let's go and have a look. Mm -hmm. 